There is so much history to the shops here in Merrick Bowling. Kevin Gray Glass Blowing has been here for 17 years, and you can come in and see them do their demonstrations live. So, Kevin. What am I doing here? Oh, you're doing great. <laughs> Just keep on turning. Here we okay. go. I'll all let right. you manipulate that. I'll take it so forward. basically, that is a lake of glass in there. That's a pot of liquid crystal at about 2,150 degrees Fahrenheit. And I just, you, know, you just gathered some clear crystal out, and now I'm dipping into some chips of colored glass, three shades of green. That's how you get that effect. Okay. And then I'm going to use another furnace called a glory hole. I'm actually going to melt the chips of color into the clear crystal. Now, you've been obviously doing this a very long time, some 30 years? Yeah, this is my 31st year of uh, blowing glass. and We basically blow glass here at the studio every day. Seven days a week, Seven you're in here. This would be a nice place to be in the winter, for sure. <laughs> Feel the heat. It's been a great summer. Now, That's but you, I mean, your pieces are international. Yeah, we show it about a thousand galleries all over the world. And so this that you're doing in particular? I'm making a little glass flower here. A okay. Little, little quick piece, a little what's called end of day or a little whimsy. You can see that hardening pretty quickly there on you. I only have like about another 30 seconds to manipulate the glass and then it's going to become too cool. So I have to work fairly quickly here, but not too quickly or this would just stretch out. Now you can see your pieces, your pieces are museums and government buildings all over the place. Yeah, we do work for mostly other galleries and, and little shops. Now how do you get it hollow, because this is going to be a vase, how do you get the glass What's hollow the in the I center? the way I pulled out that piece, making it into a little tube, yeah, it's a little, little flower vase to actually hollow inside. Um, Ta-da! We're going to go into the studio and take a look at some of Kevin's other pieces and show you in there. So you can see the demonstrations take place right there while you're browsing through the studio here. Uh, Kevin Gray, and this is what we just made. This is the, like kind of what you just it's did similar, with the vase. Yeah. You put the flower right in with the water. Uh, now these, you say, are very popular. These are a tree of life piece and we're pinching the glass up from below and uh, adding like a canopy at the top and then making little glass trees inside the crystal balls and technically they're, they're quite quite hard to do. I would imagine, look at that, they really are, look at all the branches in there, that's amazing how you can do that inside the other. And so what are some of the big pieces that people are looking for? I mean, you see platters and vases and lamps? We make a whole variety of pieces, a lot of, you know, lampshades and, and lamps, vases, bowls, uh, these are little oil lamps. And a lot of perfume bottles. A lot of perfume bottles, yeah. Oh, yeah. Probably the largest maker of perfume bottles in Canada. So we sell these, uh, you know, all over North America, but a lot of galleries and shops will carry these. And a lot of them have different metals. This is silver metal, silver and gold leaf uh, embedded into the surface of the bottles. Beautiful. And I guess one of the biggest compliments would be when your child actually looks up to you and wants to follow in your footsteps. You know you're on the right track. <laughs> they think you, what you're doing is cool. <laughs> And your son's stuff is, uh, is displayed yeah. here as well. Yeah, this is Michael, and uh, Michael's in third year Sheridan, and he's been blowing glass, you know, off and on since he was like six years old. So six he's old. been around the studio for a while, he's 20 now, and uh, he's making, you know, some nice bowls, and these are some yeah. of his sculptural pieces. Here we've collaborated on the piece, I've blown the vessel, and he's made the hands and put the pieces together. Beautiful. When you can see as you walk through the studio, I mean, there's jewelry, beautiful pieces of jewelry, and those friendship balls, which are so popular as well. So all kinds of great uh, gift ideas, one-of-a-kind pieces, for sure. Yeah, they're, each piece is, is exactly it. It's one-of-a-kind. They're all hand-blown, all free-formed. They're all one-of-a-kind pieces. There's no mold work being done. These little wine stoppers. I love that. Those are beautiful. And then lots of uh, beautiful color, like the, the blues, the cobalt blues, uh, oh, yeah. gold red rubies, and this little horse head. I put myself through school working for Disneyland making little glass animals. Wow. It's my summer job. Unbelievable. You've got to come in, hear the story, see the glass blowing, come and look at the pieces. Another must-do in Merrickville when you come down. Kevin Gray Glass. We'll see you soon.